It's been months since I've done a book tag. I had decided uh, last year that I was going to do one every month. I don't know what happened, but here we go. I went looking around on YouTube for a book tag that I haven't done before, and I found this one by Benjamin of Tomes called Six Genres, where he recommended two books in six different genres. Well, I'm going to do a variation on it. I'm going to limit myself to one book in each genre to save time, and I'm going to make them all science fiction and fantasy books, so they're going to be subgenres of sci-fi and fantasy, and I'm going to call it the subgenre book tag. Benjamin's first category is dystopias, and for this one I'm going to name The Eleventh Commandment by Lester Del Rey. The idea is that the Catholic Church has become the one world government after a limited nuclear exchange. And the phrase 11th commandment refers to the Catholic Church adding a commandment to the list, and they actually call it the first commandment, which is be fruitful and multiply, which you can imagine. It's the same kind of story and the same tone as The Handmaid's Tale, but of course it's not as beautifully written. That's a book that I need to read and review, by the way. Genre number two is romance, and for this one, I'm going to name The Time Traveler's Wife. It's about a man who has, I guess you would call it a condition, where he randomly leaps through time, and he never knows where or when he's going to show up, except it's always near his wife, or rather the young girl who will someday become his wife. It is a romance first and foremost. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It is creepy as you can imagine, in an inappropriate relationship kind of way. It's not a great book, but I remember it being an enjoyable enough read. Genre number three is fantasy, and for this one I'm going to tell you about Firebird by R. Garcia E. Robertson. This is a collection of stories that I remember reading from the magazine of fantasy and science fiction in the late 90s and early 2000s, and they were some of the best stories I've ever read. I've never forgotten them. I called them the Bone Witch stories, but I guess more appropriately they would be called the, the Markovi stories. They take place in a fictitious land called Markovi, which is a kind of alternate history medieval Russia with magic. The, the story Firebird is about a, a young girl who is an apprentice to the Bone Witch, and that's why I remembered the Bone Witch. This is a book that I need to get so I can reread the story and uh, give it a proper review. Some of the best stuff I ever remember reading. For genre number four, Benjamin named science fiction. So I'm just going to pick a science fiction book that I haven't talked about before, and that would be Code of the Life Maker by James P. Hogan. It is about a ecosystem and society of living machines that evolves from the wreckage of an alien spacecraft on the planet Titan, the, uh, the moon of Saturn. It's an interesting little exercise in ideas about uh, parallel evolution. The next genre is paranormal, and of course I'm going to go with something that's more science fiction slash paranormal. The book is And the Devil Will Drag You Under by Jack Chalker. It is about an ancient alcoholic dwarf demon who is the only one who knows how to stop a giant asteroid that is headed for Earth. It's as much comedy as it is anything else. The sixth genre is historical fiction, and for this one I'm going to pick Man in the High Castle. I reviewed the TV show a few weeks ago. I'm going to give it its own review next month, but in the meantime I'm going to tell you that it is unusual for a Philip K. Dick book. It has a much more well-thought-out world and much more well-fleshed-out characters than he usually does. Better world-building than you, than you expect from Philip K. Dick. Finally, I'm going to add a seventh genre, and I'm going to call it satire, because during the course of thinking of books for this stuff, I kept coming up with books that would be more appropriate in a category of their own. And for this one, I'm going to pick Towing Jehovah by James Morrow. The story is about the dead body of God, which shows up floating face up in the Atlantic Ocean one day. It is two miles long, and the angels who are dying... They hire an old, retired, alcoholic ship's captain to tow the body to the North Pole in hopes of preserving it in ice. So the title is literal. It is very well written. It has a lot of good modern thought 
about religion in it, and I recommend it highly. That's it. There's your seven books in this book tag. I will see you soon with another video. You can support 30 Second Sci-Fi and my other projects by becoming a patron. There's a link in the description below. And visit the 30 Second Sci-Fi Tumblr. That's my headquarters. In addition to my videos, I publish links and updates there every day.